Hello dear students, a very warm good morning to all of you and welcome in our science period. So today during the science period we will start the next lesson from the science that is motion and measurement of distances okay so today we will start our new lesson and what is the name of the lesson that is motion and measurement of distances okay so what you are going to see in this lesson what you are going to discuss in this lesson we are going to discuss about the motion what is mean by motion and also we are going to discuss about the measurement okay how we can uh, uh, how we can measure the distances or which are the different types of the units we are using to measure the different things so all these things we are going to learn or we are going to discuss in this particular lesson okay so let's move for the lesson so distance and measurement or the measurement of distance okay so if i'll ask one question if you are having the vacation then what you are doing in the vacation okay then you will give me different different answers somewhere telling me that i am having the i will spend my whole vacation with my parents or with my siblings someone someone will tell me that i am going somewhere where i want to go it means what if we are having any reason then for that reason we are traveling from one place to another place okay we are moving from one place to another place and to transport that or to travel that we are using the different means of transport okay to move to shift from one place to another we are using the different means of transport okay so that different means of the transport are also depends on the distance okay uh, how much distance we have to cover according to that we are using the means of transport okay so if the distance is so much far okay so we can say that if you want to go in the other country then obviously we will choose the means of transport that is nothing but what plane okay or the aeroplane we can say that if you want to go in different state then we can go by plane also or we can go with the help of the train also if the distance is nearby within our next taluka or the distance is so much near then we can use the four wheeler or we can use our own car or the bus also okay and very easy if your mother tell that go in the shop and bring something then what you will you use nothing there is no need to use any type of the vehicle we can go by walking it means what it depends on the distance how much distance we have to cover or uh, according to that we are using the means of transport okay and nowadays we are having the so much different types of the means of transport and with the help of that means of the transport we can easily travel from one place to another place okay but you have ever think how the ancient peoples were traveling how they were moving from one place to another place that time there were no law, there were no means of transport there were not so many means of the transport were available then how they were moving from one place to another place so let discuss about that that is nothing but what story of transport okay so means of transport during ancient time okay so during the ancient time peoples were not having the transportation facilities okay so they were moving from one place to another place by their legs or they are moving from one place on the another place by walking and they are carrying their luggages on their back okay so in this way they can move from the one place to another place but as they started to go live together they started to make a group and they started to live together and as we know the story of the ancient people slowly slowly they started to do farming and they started to form, make a group when they started to do the farming that time they started to do the domestication of the animals domestication of the animals means what they started to keep some animals with them for the purpose for certain purpose means that animals helps them in the farming work also that animals provide them certain types of the food stuff okay we can say that cow gives us milk certain types of the meat chicken fish like that they, we can get from the animal so they started to keep certain animals with them they started to do the domestication of animals okay and that domestication or that domesticated animals helps them to move from the one place to another place okay so we can say that horse is there camel is there elephant is there all these are the animals which were used to move from the one place to 
another place and also these animals helps to carry the goods or they helps to carry the luggages from one place to another place okay so that is all domestication of animals okay next point is that the invention of wheel which is very important but after invention of the wheel these all the laborers work all this stuff were get becomes released okay because that wheel cart or the bullock cart helps the people to move from the one place to another place the people can sit in the bullock cart and can go from one place to another place also they can carry easily their luggage also okay so see nowadays we can see the so many automobiles okay so many vehicles we can see that and all these vehicles can run on nothing but what wheels okay all these vehicles can move on the wheel so the wheel is the basic things which present in the different vehicles okay now the next one is that invention of steam engine which is very important it is the what the invention of the steam engine it is the source of power okay so that invention of the steam engine is a new source of power because of that the people can get the different means of the transport by using that means of the transport they can go from one place to another place with a very less time okay or the very short period of the time they can move from one place to another place okay in the steam engine we can say that different trains can move with the help of the steam engine okay after that we can see that motor ships are also there which can move on the water and helps to transport the people from one place to another place so different all these invention helps the people to move from one place to another place with a short period of time and next one we'll talk about the today's means of transport so nowadays we are having the different means of transport we are having the jet plane we are having the different ships we are having the bullet trains okay we are having the metros so all these things we can use to transport to go from one place to another place okay so all these high speed automobiles helps the people to go from one place to another place and also reduce the time taken for the traveling okay get okay, the story of transport this is the story of transport okay so this is about the transport now we'll move for the next point from the lesson which is very important that is nothing but what measurement okay so this measurement is nothing but a very important term or it is very important concept which is related to the science and also it is related to our daily life okay so from the morning up till the evening or up till the time we are going to the bed all the things we are doing it is somehow related to the measurement okay so see i can say that at what time you get up in the morning at what time you are having your lunch when you are having bathing so all these things we can take that then we are measuring the time okay if i ask you what is the distance from your house what is the distance among your house and the school then it is also the measurement of length okay so all these different things we are measuring okay in our daily life okay so all these are the very important things which is related to the measurement so in this way what we can say that the measurement is the very important thing which is related to our daily life okay okay so if i'll ask certain questions okay then suppose we can say that at what time you get up in the morning then in this condition what we are measuring here we are measuring the measurement of time okay how much distance you covered from the home to the school then it is here what we are measuring here we are measuring the distance it is the measurement of distance okay so if you are going to the shopkeepers or if you are going to the fruit sellers or the vegetable sellers okay then we are taking certain types of the vegetables that time they are giving us by making certain types of the weight and then they are providing us the vegetables okay so in this condition what we are measuring here we are measuring the mass okay also sometime we are feel uh, we are feeling ill we are having fever okay so that time the doctors can measure our body temperature okay with the help of the thermometer so that is nothing but what measurement of temperature okay so what is mean by measurement measurement is the process of comparing the unknown quantity of an object to be measured with a fixed known quantity called a 
unit okay so measurement means what it is the one type of the process in that process what we are doing we are comparing what we are comparing we are comparing the unknown quantity we are comparing the unknown quantity of an object to be measured with a fixed known quantity with a fixed known quantity okay so measurement it is the process in that what we are doing in that we are comparing or the quantity of a object okay we are comparing the unknown quantity of an object to be measured okay so if any object we want to measure then that is unknown for us okay so that unknown quantity of an object we can compare with the fixed known quantity we can compare with the fixed known quantity and then only we can get the exactly what is the measurement of that unknown quantity and that is only called as what a unit okay again i will repeat it measurement is the process of comparing the unknown quantity of an object to be measured okay so when object is there their quantity we don't know that is what that is unknown quantity for us so that unknown quantity of an object we can compare with a fixed known quantity which is called the what unit so that fixed known quantity is called as what unit okay so there are the different units we are using so any quantity that can be measured is called a physical quantity okay so the any quantity that can be measured and that quantity is called as what physical quantity anything which we can measure and that quantity is called as what physical quantity so there are the so many examples of the physical quantity like we can say that length mass volume time speed and temperature all these are what physical quantities okay so today we have discussed about what story of transport and also we have discussed about what measurement okay so here we will stop it is the time to tell you goodbye we'll meet in the next video and for today thank you